right in the middle of the global economic crisis in 1932, Alphonse and Carl Knauf established a gypsum plaster plant in peril on the Moselle, thereby laying the foundation for Knauf, a family-owned company. In 1949, a gypsum plaster plant was constructed in Epoven, located in Lower Franconia. 1958, the first gypsum board plant was constructed in Epoven. 1964, the introduction of the first machine applied projection plaster, MP75. In 1971, the first foreign subsidiary was founded in Austria. 1977, the first successful line trials with FGD gypsum used as raw material. 1978, the entry into the U.S. market with the acquisition of what is today known as Knauf Insulation in Shelbyville, Indiana. 1979, the acquisition of Richter Systems, a manufacturer of metal studs and panels for walls and ceilings. 1980, the market launch of a self-leveling floor screed based on anhydrite. 1987 through 1992, the commencement and expansion of operations in southern and western Europe. Starting with the 1980s, Nikolaus and Baldwin Knauf, the sons of the founding fathers, led the Knauf Group at a healthy growth rate into a very successful future. In 1992, the acquisition and successful integration in the Knauf Group of the Danish gypsum board manufacturer, Dano Gips. 1993-1994, the acquisition and upgrading of a number of production facilities in Russia, as well as the construction of a board plant in Pocherati in the Czech Republic. In 1995, the first sales operations in Slovakia, Hungary, and the Baltic countries. In Germany, the purchase of a 50% share in AMF in Grafenau, one of the world's most state-of-the-art high-performance manufacturers of functional mineral fiberboard ceilings. 1997, the start of operations in China, Argentina, Brazil, Croatia, and Turkey. 1998, the start of sales operations in Bulgaria and the commissioning of the first gypsum board plant in Wuhu, China. In 1999, the beginning of market penetration in Slovenia. 2000, the construction of a second Chinese gypsum board plant in Ma Chong and the commissioning of plants in Brazil and Latvia. In 2001, the commissioning of a gypsum board plant facility in Argentina. 2002 through 2003, in early 2002, the production of low-density insulation began in a new plant located at Shasta Lake, California. The acquisition of the European Insulation Division of the Alcapor Group, formerly known as Owens Corning and renamed Knauf Insulation. Furthermore, a gypsum board plant began operation in Indonesia, as did further plants in China. The Knauf Group also acquired the remaining shares of AMF. 2004, the acquisition of Norgips with production facilities in Drammen, Norway and Opele, Poland. In 2006, Knauf Insulation acquired Heraklit, an important manufacturer of rock and wood mineral wool with a strong market position in Central and Eastern Europe. The manufacture of glass mineral wool began at a new plant in Krupka in the Czech Republic. 2007, construction of a glass wool plant in Stupino, Russia the acquisition of Sacrate, a producer of dry mortars for new buildings and refurbishment. Also that year, the first building convention was held in Epoven. In mid-2009, Knauf Insulation introduced Ecos Technology, a binder-based technology used in the entire production of glass mineral wool. Ecos Technology is based on renewable bio-based ingredients that are free from formaldehyde, phenols and acrylics without the use of artificial colors, bleach, or dyes. In 2010, the construction of a glass mineral wool plant in Lomisson, France. The reopening of the Knauf Museum in Epoven.
Today, with over 220 plants, more than 70 quarries in over 60 countries, and a workforce of 22,000 worldwide, Knauf is one of the world's leading manufacturers of construction materials. People are what make up a company's corporate culture. Since July 2008, the Knauf Group has been led by the personally liable shareholders and general partners, Manfred Grunke and Hans-Peter Ingenilum. We're always there when you need us, accessible and with the proper solutions. We stay in touch with our partners constantly, in the architect's office, with specialist retailers, or on site. We accompany you with our products and systems right until you occupy a building. Knauf is active on the market for you and with you. Gypsum is one of nature's most ingenious creations, dating back millions of years. We process and refine it for millions of customers. Two natural minerals, gypsum and anhydrite, are the most important raw materials used in Knauf products. Our production facilities are located in the heart of our mining belts. These ideal locations go easy on natural resources and the environment. Back to nature, with the restoration and recultivation of natural habitats, we are fully in tune with global environmental needs. Sustainability is an important component of our corporate strategy. For us, acting in a sustainable manner implies meeting the needs of today's generation without imposing restrictions on the opportunities of generations to come. Preserving history and experiencing living culture, Knauf actively supports cultural and charity programs worldwide in children's homes, schools, hospitals, churches, and convents, salvaging a number of works of art and historical buildings in the process. During energy production in coal-fired power plants, FGD gypsum is created as a byproduct in the desulfurization process through the chemical interaction of the sulfur contained in the coal with limestone, which is used as an additive. We use this as a raw material around the world, thereby supplementing our enormous demand for natural gypsum. We play an important role in the wise utilization of natural resources and help preserve a pristine environment. Our R&D staff poses forward-looking questions and comes up with feasible solutions for the present. Our mission, precision and quality directly off the board line, is not limited to the production management of Knauf boards. It goes without saying that the entire manufacturing process for all Knauf products is consistently recorded and controlled for quality compliance. Continuous investment in research and development has led to the revolutionary binder technology, ECOS technology. The least expensive, cleanest energy is energy that is saved, and it's this energy that is now available to us. In Europe, 40% of the entire demand for energy is consumed in buildings. Half of this demand could be saved through simple measures such as the use of insulation materials. Knauf Insulation offers comprehensive systems for construction and industrial applications, thermal insulation, fire protection, and soundproofing, insulation systems for residential and non-residential buildings, as well as process and systems solutions in the area of OEM, Original Equipment Manufacturing. Knauf know-how implies transferring knowledge, improving skills, and trading experiences. Our service support converts into your success. With the Knauf exterior wall, Knauf offers a proven integrated drywall solution to construct total exterior walls all from one source. Residential and non-residential buildings can be erected using Knauf exterior walls, creating a unique combination of cost effectiveness, sustainability, and performance, far above that of conventional buildings with brick and mortar. The Knauf heart beats close to the market to ensure that we constantly enhance our customer service. Knauf is active around the entire globe.
beautiful facades, branded premium plasters, glowing shades of paint, complex external wall insulation, drywall systems, innovative ceiling and floor systems, and several other products from Knauf smoothly combine design, technology, and cost efficiency with one another. We're your dependable partner with our innovation powerhouse and personal commitment, helping you build a successful future.